What's up guys, Grim here, and we are back in the Starfall Prophecy, and we are back into Felboken, specifically in the Scatheran Forest. Alright, so last time we left off, the server had crashed, and uh, I just couldn't continue anymore because my server was down, I couldn't play my character. Well, Tron is going to reimburse everybody for this downtime on all the servers that's been happening and uh, yeah we're going to get some rewards from it so that's pretty nice. Uh, the downside is is that I had actually already been playing for about 20 minutes recording stuff and apparently the recording software just completely crashed and uh, all the footage is lost. So. To go over everything again, what we're going to do is in this particular video, we're going to have it to where throughout the video I'm going to put up codes for uh, community racing snails as well as the radar corgi pet. So if you'd like to win any of those, all you have to do is watch the video and I'm going to be putting them up throughout the video and you guys can check it out then. Uh, of course, once they're used, they are used up. Whoever gets to them first gets to them first. Uh, but I thought it would be a pretty fun thing. Also, we're going to make it to where uh, if you leave a comment in the comment section below, I'll go ahead and give away a community racing snail down there as well. So all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server. Make sure you click the like button and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I'll go ahead and give away a community racing snail down there and also watch throughout the video for more things. Now... I'm going to try to cut out any real boring parts that happen during my questing process. We're going to try to focus on the funner things that happen. Uh, hopefully this video will be a little bit exciting. I know leveling process is really that exciting usually, but uh, we're going to try to do it. And also there's, I've heard there's really good gear in the PvP stuff, so I'm kind of excited about that as well, but it's not something that we're going to jump into just yet. So let's go ahead and resume our leveling process and try to hit level 66. There are so many people everywhere, especially in the town areas. It's just really, really hard to navigate through without lagging some because, of course, I'm recording and also my computer isn't all that amazing. And this has become kind of an interesting endeavor with so many people everywhere. Um, I went ahead and uh, I, I was gathering some things that I seen like, uh, you know, mining the rocks and stuff and I noticed that my skills weren't going up. So I went ahead and went to Tempest Bay and talked to the crafting trainers there and right off the bat if you are maxed out on your crafting levels from uh, Nightmare Tide, you can go ahead and become visionary status on the crafting profession in Starfall Prophecy. So go ahead and go to the crafting trainers. Go ahead and uh, learn up the skills. That way you can continue progressing to the new levels that are released in this expansion. Wow. Unicorn Central here. I will say right off the bat that the leveling process in uh, Rift is kind of a boring process. It always has been and uh, the leveling up process is pretty much uh, a little bit grindy. I mean it's like you're always, no matter if you're doing the main story quests or you're doing some side quests, it's always going to be run here and fetch five of these or go kill 10 of these creatures or whatever else. And uh, it's one of the chief complaints that I've had whenever I would watch the live streams and see them show off new content and stuff is I actually message Arconics and asked him, hey, are you guys going to make this storyline quest or any of the quests in general a little more engaging? I mean, give us options in order to choose uh, what we do, uh, make something, you know, cut scene, something like that in order to engage the audience. And uh, I was pretty much told they're not going to do that right now. That's not in the plan. So that makes it to where whenever you do any kind of quest, you see like this huge page of text that it's kind of expected of you to read if you want to take part in the storyline at all or you can just click off and run to the various targets and naturally almost everybody is just going to click off but yet whenever you have other games that uh, actually try to make the the questing more engaging where you can have options you can 
uh, choose whether you want to do this or that. You can, uh, you know, just all kinds of different things. And especially the cutscenes tend to draw people in as well. In Rift, you get lost. You have no idea what the storyline is. Uh, is Captain Cursor an amazing storyteller? You don't know because nobody is paying attention to the storyline. Uh, it, it, it gets more annoying than anything because whenever you don't know the storyline because you don't want to read pages upon pages of uh, text, uh, you know, every story, uh, every quest you pick up, then whenever people are following you around like these characters behind me right here and they're just spouting things out loud, you really don't even want to hear it because you don't know what's going on anyway. And I'm somebody that loves stories. Now, whenever I do uh, games that have engaging quests, I really enjoy the storylines and stuff. But in Rift, I don't know what's going on in Starfall Prophecy right now. I don't know what went on in Nightmare Tide. And I certainly didn't know what went on in Storm Legion. That's what the questing is like here. Oh my gosh, with so many people doing the quests, they just overlap each other. It's, it's hard to find the targets and all that. It's pretty crazy. So many people, man. This area is laggy. Oh my gosh. Alright, this is pretty cool here. This is the bundle of affinity points that they're giving people to compensate for the the server crashes and everything like that. So 100 affinity points right off the bat. And also, they have announced that they're going to be doing double affinity points. Like, instead of logging in and you get 5 affinity points right off the bat, now you get 10 and that's going to be going on for a little while. I'm not too sure what the deadline for that is, when it's going to stop happening, but it's pretty cool that we're getting compensation for things like this. Got to defend the Wardstone here against the invasions. So lots more monsters coming on their way, I imagine. Yep, lots of players up there already fighting them. And level 66 happens. Alright, so I have a legendary point now. Let's see what these legendary points do. So, the normal version of the Shadow of Dread applies all known Reaver damage over time effects. Uh, all at once, so I don't have to apply them one at a time. Well, if I change it into legendary version, it will apply all known Reaver damage over time effects, awards one attack point, and passively causes the Reaver damage over time effects to tick three times as fast but last 50% less time. So, if you're actually playing with the Reaver build, this sounds like it will be something that will uh be really devastating to anybody that you play uh, against in pvp and stuff like that because uh, naturally damage happening a lot faster in pvp is a big deal so yeah that's pretty cool and you can put the legendary ability on lots of different things we'll just have to see what we want to do it on all right look at this one this is viral stream now the normal version of viral stream you have to basically stand still and uh channel it for a lot of damage pretty much depending on how many dots you have on the opponent well the legendary version of this actually applies a little bit less damage but it ticks every 0.25 seconds whereas the normal version of it uh, ticks every second so it ticks four times as fast uh, for 30 seconds to the target um, So it does a lot more damage in a very fast amount of time and the damage increased by 25% for each reaver damage over time effect on the target which is just like the normal version however you may move while channeling this this is uh this is like pre-patch how it used to be before they patched it made it to where you had to stand still now you can move while channeling this and it does a lot more damage man i'm starting to think that the the time to kill is back the way it was in early Nightmare Tide where people were getting blown up really, really fast in PvP. I don't know. We'll have to see. 
But we're going to go ahead and apply our legendary ability to our viral stream. So it's going to do a lot more damage. So I went ahead and added up how long it took me in order to get from 65 to 66. And it took me right at about an hour and a half with me reading the storyline and all that stuff. Well, trying to read the storyline, should I say. it's uh, You get a little bit cross-eyed whenever every single quest that you're pulling up has a whole page of text that you need to read in order to see what's going on. You end up basically clicking off of it sometimes. And then you get completely lost. You have no idea what the storyline is at all. But, uh, and I love storylines, but that's just how Rift story uh, quest lines are. But, right at an hour and a half in order to get from 55 to 56, um, I imagine I can cut that nearly in half or right at an hour or so if I would have uh, really hurried up through it. Um, but... Not, not too sure. I'll have to see how fast it takes me to level up my alts whenever I'm not reading the storyline and actually flying through it all. But uh, with it being right at an hour and a half, uh, it's about on par with how Nightmare Tide was for me. It may take a little bit longer, but we'll see. What in the world is going on there? <laughs> Find the path to the joust. All right, so let's go ahead and head up this way, it looks like. It shrunk me down, and now I'm going to joust. Whoa, what is that thing? All right, here we go. Let's see how good our legendary ability goes. Oh, look at that damage. Oh, my gosh. Oh man, Viral Stream just eats this guy up. Oh my gosh. Alright, that's going to be it for me guys. It's a little bit late and I got to get up early. So, got to make that money, man. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Uh, for those that actually got in on the codes throughout the video and actually got one of the codes without somebody else snagging it before you, congratulations, and as usual, we're doing the giveaway in the comment section below. So, as usual, guys, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.